This past Sunday, Davis and I braved Disney World. We knew that it was going to rain, so we stuffed the boys' ponchos in my bag. We stuffed our raincoats in his bag, and we said, we're Floridians. We can do this. And as was predicted, it poured, and we were prepared. And the best choice that we made, though, is that we decided to leave the stroller home. We have this, like, double-wide stroller, and it's great. We can stuff all of our junk in the bottom, but we said, nope, that's just going to be too much for today. The boys will just have to walk, and that's a great way to tire them out, too. The nice thing was, when the rain was coming down, it was much easier to navigate around the park. There was this one stretch of a covered walkway, and there were so many people like hunkering down under it and sitting on the ground. It was super frustrating, actually. We could hardly get through. But had we had that stroller, there's no way we would have fit through because there was only like two and a half, three feet of space to walk. I'm going somewhere with this. Stick around. <laughs> In today's gospel reading, it's Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. It says, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. Jesus reminds the people that the wide path that allows us to do whatever we want, say whatever we want, believe whatever we want, that leads to death and destruction. The narrow gate that's more difficult leads to life. But I'll tell you what, from our experience this weekend, it's a lot easier to get through the narrow gate and the narrow spot without all the baggage. If we had had that double stroller, we would not have fit through. We would have had to, I don't know, go another way, fold it up, run people over practically. It's a lot easier to make choices that lead to eternal life when you don't have something holding you back, something like sin, unforgiveness, bitterness. So what are you carrying? that's putting up a wall, that's keeping that grace from flowing to you, that grace that allows you to make choices every day that turn you closer, turn your heart closer to Jesus. Because we can go to God in prayer together, we can go to God in the sacraments, and we can let that go.